Today's park review is going to be the last park review of the off-season. This here is Edenville Family Theme Park, smaller scale of fa family park in Carver, Massachusetts. What I like about it is that this park has a, this park has something to do for everyone. Teenagers, adults, kids, so everyone can get a grab of things about this park. Even though it's a small scale family park, I still like it. It was a great park. So, let's discuss the roller coasters about it. About so let's discuss the roller coasters. This park has a total of two to three roller coasters. Um they do have two roller coasters that were opened in 2018. They do have uh, Trouble Trucks Runaway Coaster, which is a Zamperla Speedy. And then they also have um, they also have Ladybug Spinning Coaster, which is an SBF Spinner. So you can find those like at all over amusement parks, these SBF Spinners. So they're not that exciting, but you can find these, find these at like all over amusement parks. And then they all were also going to be opening a, um, and then they were also going to be opening Curse Splash, which is an ENF Miller water coaster. They were supposed to open that for the 2018 season, but failure to, uh, deliver trains were, was, was the plot problem. So the trains weren't there on time. So RCDB is saying that it's going to open for the 2019 season. So hopefully it opens for the 2019 season. So that right there is Curse Splash. It might open for the 2019 season. It might not, but... If they don't, if it doesn't, then it'll get scrapped. So let's talk about the flat rides. This park has a total good of flat rides. Their notable ones are the drop tower. They do have a great drop tower. Really smooth drop tower. Um, this is probably like the thrilling rides, if you're like saying it, the thrilling rides. And then they also have bumper cars. So those are probably the, the top two thrilling rides in the park. And they do have some other family rides in the park as well. So let's talk about the money. So if you're looking for a one day pass, one day pass is going to be $37.99, $37, not that, not that expensive at, not that expensive as well. And then also this park also has some sort of Thomas the Friends VIP breakfast. So if you're looking to do that, that's going to be like $49. It's going to be $49, almost $50 if you're, like, looking into a VIP breakfast. Let's talk about the operations for this park now. Let's talk about the operations. Operations, I don't think they weren't bad. Maybe, like, two-minute dispatches. That's not bad for an amusement park, especially this is, like, a smaller park. Not that bad as well. I mean, they do run better. Like, I, I got to say, this park does run better than Kennywood. So, this park does run really good operations so, so really good operations uh this park has um really speed up the operations really well so let's talk about the appearance and i've got to say the front of it the front of the park is just probably like one of the best fronts probably one of the best fronts at an amusement park the but the front of it has so much like buildings that it so it feels like it's going to like. So it has good appearance. It feels like you're like in another country. Now, other things to know about this park is that this park has two things I forgot to mention in the f in um, the flats. So they do have a train ride, which is not really much of a flat ride. So they do have a train ride around the park. And I heard the Christmas event for the train ride is amazing. And then they also have a dino area, which is about dinosaurs. And you can find these. And, and then, like, it's also in the shade, too. And there's also an abandoning roller coaster. Take a look at this. There's an abandoning roller coaster in the dino area. So you'll get to see that as well. So, now, you cannot judge a book by its cover on determining on how many roller coasters the park has. Because even though this park has two roller coasters, I still like this park. This park is an amazing park. Two roller coasters, not not that bad, but I just there's there's something for everyone at this park. Should you go here? Yes. There's something for everyone at this park. There's like a dino area that's like better than Cedar Fairs. This park's amazing. So that is it for my review on Edaville Family Theme Park. Let me know in the comment section below if you have been to this park or if you have not. Let me know in the comment section below. Don't forget to subscribe for uh for more videos coming up later, and I'll catch you guys later.